Hey, what's going on everybody? This here is the oil filter cap for a 2013 Toyota Camry. And occasionally people find themselves in a bind with this one. The pins on the side will break off when you're trying to remove it if it's been over tightened. Or if someone forgets to undo the little metal tab up in the far right hand corner of this photo. The person who tried to take this oil filter cap off did not know you have to bend that metal tab back to let it spin, and they broke the teeth off the cap, which caused the cap to leak and everything, and, and they couldn't get it off. So I've been sent in to, for the kill here, and we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to show you how I got it off of there and how easy it is to get a new one. Sometimes you got to take drastic measures. This is an oil cap on a 2013 Toyota Camry. Now, the way these are supposed to be tightened on is very loosely, and then you bend this metal tab over onto one of the teeth so it can't come back off. Some people don't know this tab is here, so when they go to take it off, it won't turn and they chip the teeth. Well, in addition to that, some people don't know this can't be tightened very much. This one got over tightened and wouldn't come off and all the teeth broke and we couldn't save it. So I literally had to drill my wrench to the oil cap and I just got it to bust off. I tried screwdrivers, chisels, impact chisel, nothing would get this thing off of here. So <laughs> I don't know why you'd make this out of plastic but uh, yeah let me show you what we got here. And there it is. The tooth broke off and caused a leak in the unit to where now we're completely screwed. So to get it off of there, I drilled a couple of holes in the special wrench they have for this. Here's the teeth that broke off. And uh, was lucky enough to get this thing off of there by doing that. So if you run into this problem, just remember that little metal tab bends over and hits one of these little gussets and you're not supposed to tighten this thing hardly at all hand tight this is tight you're supposed to tighten this because there is an o-ring anytime you have an o-ring you don't need any type of pressure so just keep that in mind when you go to take this off you got to bend that tab out of the way and if you break it and can't get it off I basically drilled pre-drilled these holes and ran some self-tappers right into the Balkalite plastic. And uh, got myself out with quite a bit of a jam there. Okay, everybody. So here's the replacement, which astonishingly is made out of a hard material. Almost like it's metal. So we got lucky there. <clears throat> the good thing about this is that... Oh, wait. It does have a cap on it. Darn it. Man, they just don't want this thing to be easy to come off of there. I'm just not going to ever overhand, over tighten this again. I'm just going to hand tighten this thing and uh, see how that goes. It'd be nice if you could just take it off with this, but that plug comes out when you do that. So if you get into a jam and you can't get this thing off there because the tabs have busted on you, you can just drill holes right through the back of your wrench. And don't forget that metal tab that holds this thing in place. I'll show that to you in a minute. Okay, that right there is the restriction pin that stops the cap from progressing. So I hope this video helps somebody out, man, because this is one of those situations that you can find yourself in and you're just, you are screwed. I mean, I was thoroughly screwed to the panel when I was confronted with this problem. I, that was a real head scratcher. I tried everything under the sun to get that cap off there that's not in this video. So because of all the hidden effort that was behind the fruit I revealed, I thought maybe this would be worth posting. So if this helped you out, give me a thumbs up in the comment section. Let me know this wasn't in vain for crying out loud. And have a great day and good luck with your new metal oil filter cap.